If you start out from the White House and walk up 16th Street until it uh, intersects with Massachusetts Avenue, and then you look to your right, you'll see an amazing memorial. It is a monument to Samuel Hahnemann, the originator of homeopathy. It is really a beautiful monument and was uh, unveiled in 1900 in the presence of President McKinley. It was funded by the American uh, Naturopathic uh, Association. And if you look at the pedestal on which uh, Hahnemann uh, sits, it says, Simila similibus curantur, which means really like cures like. And that's a central tenet of homeopathy. If you give a substance to a healthy person in increasing doses, it will trigger some sort of symptom. And then that same substance, diluted infinitely, will cure those symptoms in a sick person. That is the very tenet of homeopathy. And those dilutions are extreme. The solution is diluted to the extent that it contains not a single molecule of the original. So how do homeopaths explain the functioning of this, quote, remedy? That the dilution and shaking the solution against the leather pillow in between dilutions fixed number of times will leave an imprint of the original solute on the solution. Well, then a drop of this solution is impregnated into a sugar pill, and that is the homeopathic remedy. This, of course, makes absolutely no scientific sense. And uh, that is corroborated by numerous meta-analyses that have shown conclusively that homeopathy is no different from using a placebo. Nevertheless, it, uh, it persists. Um, how can it be then that a man in Germany overdosed on a homeopathic remedy and ended up in hospital? How can you get sick when it contains nothing? Well, it turns out it did contain something. It contained atropine. Now, this compound is found in the belladonna plant, deadly nightshade. And it is used in many homeopathic remedies uh, for treatment of uh, stomach aches or treatment of excitement. Uh, why? Because if you give atropine to a healthy person, it can cause stomach problems and it can cause hallucinations. So in the perverse uh, notion of homeopathy, if you have uh, some kind of stomach ailment or you're overly excited, that will be treated by an infinitely dilute solution of, of atropine, which usually is no problem because there's nothing in there. However, in this particular case, the solution was not properly manufactured. It wasn't properly diluted. And there was a significant amount of atropine in there. And the gentleman had the consequences of overdose of, of uh, atropine, uh, not walking properly, not seeing properly, etc. Luckily, uh, he managed to, uh, to recover uh, from this. So because of the fact that, that uh, uh, there is no scientific basis of, of homeopathy, I think that whole industry deserves to be pilloried to a certain extent. However, that doesn't apply to Hahnemann his, himself. Now remember that the uh, origin of homeopathy takes us back almost 200 years, and that was in a very primitive era of practice of, of medicine. And Hahnemann was a good guy. He was worried about the ineffective and torturous treatments that were routine at the time. Patients were being bloodlet. They, they were given purgatives, etc. Uh, usually they said, enough of this treatment, I feel better, uh, just to, to uh, solve the, the problem of the side effects of the, of the treatment. So Hahnemann looked for something that was kinder and, and gentler. And of course, in those days, they didn't know anything about molecules. He didn't understand that the dilutions meant that there was essentially nothing in the final product. And I think he was uh, understandably seduced by the positive reports that he got from his patients, uh, who, of course, did not recognize, really, that they were reporting on the placebo uh, effect. So homeopathy is, uh, is still with us, and uh, science is not going to be able to obliterate it because the placebo effect, indeed, is very real, and often it is, it is welcome. 
but it is a $15 billion a year industry. <clears throat> and uh, just imagine if that amount of money were put to legitimate medical research, the benefits that could be derived. And that for today is our cup of joe. I can assure you it is not homeopathic. <laughs>